Okay, one good thing about making the meatloaf is we get to we use some of that leftover gravy from the roast we made the other day, the homemade gravy. Now, it comes out kind of clumpy, more like jello than gravy. It's jello gravy. Jiggalolo gravy. So we. I didn't get any of that. To revitalize it, okay, well, we have to well, really put some cold. water in it. First, we smash it down a little bit. It's in one of these boxes? And then we're going to add some water to reinvigorate invigorate in the gravy. Gravy! Gravy! Reinvigorate it, and as it cooks, it will melt, and you cook it for about 20 minutes. But you got to keep an eye on it. So I'll be back occasionally to show you what happened. Oh, there, oh, there, okay, there it is recording. As stated earlier, we have to keep monitoring the gravy, and you look how nice it's starting to look. It's starting to look like gravy again, and not like Jello. It's Gravy, gravy. Why are you doing that? I promise I would really hurt you. I didn't say I would kill you. Oh, yeah. I just want you. I just and has a nice consistency, that's when you know it is done. One thing that goes good with uh, meatloaf is cream style corn, and we'll be making some cream style corn. As we wait for the Meatloaf to finish up. So where is it supposed to go first? Well, t technically the story has well, to Alexa, how much time is left? Well, without the proper recording, it's not quite exactly where we are. You have no idea. corn cooking and now we take out the meatloaf we have to let it settle for about five minutes before we serve it so let's take it out of the oven you need both loaves with this thing because that thing is going to be hot look at that Okay, now that the roast, the, the meatloaf has settled, we get ready to take it out of the pot and we take the knife, cut around the edges so it will hopefully fall right out of the pan. And if that generic cooking spray I use work, it will fall out without sticking to the pan at all. But we don't know what his weaknesses are. We can't just Google how to kill a leprechaun. Wait, can we? We have power, yeah. We could just reboot the internet and call the police. Wait. Da da da! I just have to change the fuse. Did you bitch 
and it's time to plate the meal. Okay, as always, that we were all gonna sit together. We have been nice spicy and look how nice and crusty crunchy it is. You don't know what you're talking about. Neither do you, Lila. Just because you let her dealt with it doesn't mean you're gonna walk out of it too. You're gonna get us all killed. Well, fine, then I'll just give it to him myself. Fine, fine, fine. Get a nice scoop of mashed potatoes, by the way. That's my Uncle Jim over there. Say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? We make our gravy well. Potatoes. Put some gravy on the potatoes and the meatloaf. <laughs> Perfect. 